few words. My name's Kira. This is your cue to say your oh, name. Oh, that's awkward. My name is Max and it's raining. <laughs> Just started raining. It's like rain on your filming. Okay, okay start, start from, from the top. top. My name is Kiara. My. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, people of the internet. My name is Kiara. This is my boyfriend, Max. And today we're going to be doing a little Q&A about our tiny home. Dude, I don't even look at can in this. <laughs> so, for complete transparency, all of these questions are from our friends and family, and we got about 10 of them, so. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to be making up questions here or pretending like we got a lot, because we did it. But I think it's a good amount, and it's a right. Yeah, questions. some good questions. So, thank, thank you for everyone that actually asked something. Yeah, very much appreciated, and hopefully you all enjoy. So first question, are you allowed to have pets? No. Sadly, we found that out a little bit later. The rental agreement was not exactly clear on that, so got a little disappointment later. But we do have a little trilobite, which is our pet. Yes. So. <laughs> Second question, do you own the house or are you just renting? So we're just renting. It's a month-to-month -month rental agreement, so it's not a, a year lease or anything like that. We're just here for the time being during COVID and work and school from home sort of stuff. So yeah, we're just taking it month by month. <laughs> not sure how long we'll be here. How terrible does it feel not having Max's little sister around? Oh, absolutely terrible. It's so terrible, I could cry tears of joy. <laughs> Just kidding. It was fun having you around, little sister. But we miss ya. Yeah. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's been great here. <laughs> oh, sorry. me! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Oh, Just God. kidding. Yeah. Come, come visit soon. <laughs> Alright, next question. Does such a small space ever drive you crazy? I don't think so. Um, I don't know. I feel like we both are okay with living in small spaces and I guess you prior to I guess living here a lot of the times you would go on road trips and pretty much live out of your car so yeah. that's an even smaller space this, this is a lot of space this is like a mansion compared to my car <laughs> so yeah and I guess I mean I've shared a room with either siblings or dorm or roommate throughout college so I don't know I guess I'm used to having a smaller space anyway and we don't have a lot of things. Yeah, it definitely does not drive us crazy. Considering, I think, all the space that is outside, it's kind of hard to go crazy. I actually feel like I would go crazy more in a bigger house, mm -hmm. kind of in town uh, or near the city, than I do out here. Definitely. Yeah, because if we're ever, like, feeling cramped in here, we can go outside. And yes, it's often raining, because it's a, the rainy season right now, <laughs> but it is starting to warm up. and. Yeah. Even if it is raining, we'll still yeah, go outside. we got rain jackets. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If you live in the Northwest, you can't let rain stop. Yep. True, true, true. What are the best ways to find a tiny home? Well, we found this on Craigslist. So, I guess it depends if you're looking to rent or buy. Because if you're looking to buy, there's different websites that offer either like pre-made homes, which have you know, financing options and things like that. And there's really a huge variety, and there's also you know, tiny home communities that uh, you can rent a tiny home in. So I don't know. I I don't know what the best way is, but we found ours on Craigslist. So that might be a question for my mom. She's oh, yeah. the expert yeah, on true. tiny home living. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. she can probably answer that question a little yes. bit better. <laughs> yes, for sure. Are you scared at night when you hear strange noises? <laughs> So we do live in a rural area. There's no immediate town nearby, I guess within a few miles. So we are relatively spaced out from our neighbors and there's a lot of wildlife. <laughs> and the first few weeks we were living here, I think it was one of the first few nights we had heard like some tapping or like scraping from the wind mm -hmm. on the outside the house and it just sounded so, so creepy. <laughs> yeah. But. I don't know. I feel like I've gotten used to it yeah. and more comfortable mm -hmm. with 
the weird noises outside. Yeah. Kara's a scaredy cat, so that always <laughs> scared her, especially when it's super windy, and she always thinks a tree's gonna fall on us, and that'll be the end. Yes, because we, we <laughs> sleep like right next to the roof, so if a tree falls, we're immediately getting smushed. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, but no, it hasn't been it hasn't been too scary. What is your biggest struggle with living in a tiny home? Hmm. I don't really know if I have a struggle. Do you? I think uh, I would like to have a little space where I could have a desktop monitor type thing, just like a better computer setup than just always being on the laptop. Not that like, I don't really mind that it's been <clears throat> working for me, but sometimes it is nicer to just have a dedicated computer setup. Yeah, I agree. I think maybe same for me, I know. I just need to work on my posture <laughs> so my back doesn't hurt all the time. But I imagine, you know, having a more set workspace with a chair and, yeah. you know, a nice editing workspace would be cool. But really that's not an essential for me right now. I don't mind, like you said, mm -hmm. sitting at the table. Yeah, I don't know. I think like we said in other videos, this really fits our needs. And mm -hmm. sure there's like some things that aren't very fun or they're kind of, you know, not ideal, but it's not a deal breaker. <laughs> yeah, hard to classify something as a struggle. Yeah. Oh, we struggle with the blinds. Keep breaking them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> what do you admire about it? The tiny home, I see. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I think number one, just the location. I don't know, we both love the outdoors and getting away from the city has been really nice and I don't know, it's just, it's, we're very grateful to be able to just go on a walk and there's just an abundance of trees and mountains and we can go to the beach and just has everything we need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I could add on uh, something is that it feels so nice in here, kind of the same feeling when you're drinking your morning coffee as you would at kind of a fancy, cute, cozy coffee shop mm. so you get that kind of feeling every day it's pretty nice yeah I think just the aesthetic of mm. it just how this was built and the different touches uh, whether it was a part of the tiny home or just things we brought into the space just yeah. makes the vibes that much better <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> have you clogged the toilet yet no because the toilet can't really get clogged it's a compost toilet so essentially you just do your number two into a bin and it separates the number one and the number two. Uh, but there's obviously a flap that gets activated when you sit down, the flap gets moved. So then, you know, when you go number two, it goes in there. Other, otherwise the flap covers it. So you're not, you know, smelling number two and there's a fan that fans that outside. So we don't really smell that in here, but yeah, I don't think you can clog it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would probably prefer a conventional toilet, but it's fine and it does feel kind of sustainable. Yeah, actually, as gross as it is, it feels kind of cool to yeah. be able to just throw our waste away and like, I mean, we physically wash to decompose over just a few months later. Yeah. Then we use it for our garden. Just kidding. I'm kidding. That's <laughs> <I know>. a, <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a no. joke. <laughs> but hey, on that note, we are thinking of starting a garden. Yeah. What is your heat source? So for heating, we have a little space heater that's built into the stairs and we pretty much just turn it on every morning when we wake up and let it heat up the house. It's a basically a little electric uh, single uh, unit mm -hmm. and it works pretty well. It's a little bit loud. We don't mind so much unless Kara has video calls or something and she turns it off because it definitely can't be a bit loud but it'll warm up, you know, sometimes it's hot in here. Uh, I guess in the morning, sometimes it does feel like it takes forever, but it's really not that bad. All right, this is our last question. That's a good one. Can you fit all the essentials, including clothing, without an additional storage unit? So essentials, yes. We've been living here without having to, you know, go and get other things or put things into storage. 
and we have all the clothes that we need here and all that kind of stuff. However, for things like activity wise, it's a little difficult for me to store surfboards, for example, because you want to keep them out of the direct sunlight. And there's not much space to do that. And I have like four surfboards here. Um, and that's not even <laughs> all the boards I have, but uh, yeah, so finding room for that kind of stuff, finding room for, I guess, guitar stuff, for example. And we left certain things uh, with our parents. Like we have kayaks, mm -hmm. but I have no idea where we put, I guess we could keep them somewhere on the property. But yeah, definitely for bigger things, there's a little bit of a struggle. Nothing, you know, essential wise that we had to let go of, at least for us. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, there's definitely, you know, there's not a spare bedroom that you just throw all your junk in. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's, we really try to be minimal, I guess. We don't really buy a lot of things we don't need. I mean, sometimes we do. <laughs> but. Care things my surfboards are things I don't need. <laughs> Baloney woman. Use them all. <laughs> but in terms of clothing, we just store it in these little just baskets and kind of up in our sleeping area. We keep all our clothes and um, it's not all of our clothes, but I think it's the majority of, of it. And I think we might have gone over this in a previous video, but there's a surprising amount of storage in the tiny home. So surprising that like Kara was, when we were moving here, was super stressed. How are we going to make everything fit? Don't bring this, don't bring that. Max is trying to bring his entire library, and Max has a crap ton of books. I'm not trying to bring the entire library, that's an exaggeration. <laughs> there was just like last minute things you kept throwing in the car, and I was like, <laughs> where are we putting this? <laughs> it, it all fit. It did. And we had room to And spare. we have more. We still have a bit of room. Yeah. So, it does fit all our needs, and like I said, we don't have a ton of stuff anyway. Yeah, thanks you guys for the questions. Hopefully that answered some of them. Uh, if you have any other questions feel free to leave them in the comments or something i'm sure we'll we'd love to answer do a those part too two. yeah or yeah. do a part two if we get enough <laughs> yeah, 10 more questions yeah. uh, but really thank you to everyone who asked questions it was yeah. fun answering and hope it gives you an inside look like and subscribe dude we're almost at a thousand subscribs only it's... after 10 years of being on youtube uh, just kidding i do this for fun yeah, <laughs> so true. But it's pretty rewarding. <laughs> yeah, no, it really makes my day when strangers comment and mm -hmm. say they enjoyed it or they give it a like. So yeah. I appreciate you. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for more Tiny Home content. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.